already streaming. Um, I'm, it takes a while before it appears on the on the Twitch client. So uh, um, uh, even though I'm a lamer and I suck, I should say, oh, hello, I'm CurvyCom. Um, I'm a lamer and I suck in the old internet parlance. Um, I'm probably the worst streamer in the history of Twitch. <clears throat> And uh, I'm probably uh, um, uh, I'm probably uh, the worst YouTuber, um, but I did. Um, I did. Uh, um, I, I talked a little bit uh, last stream about how, uh, uh, to all zero of you um, who are watching, I talked about um, how um, I had a YouTube channel that was inactive that I had to recover, and I finally figured out how to recover it. And I went in there and cleaned it up a little. And um, there's uh, one video in there from still it's from it's got like 24,000 views or something at this moment because it's been in there for like 11 years so um uh so um all videos can get views no matter what they are and um um uh, bits of video it's got nothing to do with gaming it's just from the time when I was in uh, music school or sometime after that I guess but I had a website that had some uh, compositions on it and uh, some guy showed up and made kind of a video out of one of my f I, I wrote a you know Bach style fugue and one a guy came along a very interesting guy um, uh, and uh he made a video out of one of my fugues and then sent me an email saying, hey, dude, I made a video out of one of your fugues. And I thought, well, that's really neat. And so I said, well, I should put this on YouTube then. Uh, and that was like the one and only uh, thing I ever did with YouTube is I just stuck it up there just for the heck of it. I stuck it up there and then I promptly forgot how to log into my YouTube channel and I never logged into it again. And... Uh, that was because um, uh, that was because it was an old it was like pre Google YouTube channel and then the merge happened and you had to put a Gmail account on it and I forgot all the details about how I did that so anyway I recently recovered it and uh, even though I'm a lamer and I suck I decided I probably should like uh, clean it out and make it kind of like the channel for this what I'm doing now but I did leave that music video up and uh I figure what the heck it's the first thing that was ever in the channel and uh it's not uh um oh yeah and look at that I'm not streaming uh yet or I'm I'm check this out I can do this I even have it on hotkeys and I'm such a lamer that, oh, obviously the hotkeys aren't working. Uh, so, um, maybe I have to make them unique hotkeys, or when I'm in the game, maybe the hotkeys won't work. But whatever, I'm, I'm fine with that. Just, I can click. I'm fine. Look, that's like just the webcam and the sound. And then this is everything. So, um, anyway, once again, we're in Zanger Marsh, and I was going to do Zanger Marsh yesterday, and um, I forgot how much how much stuff was in Zanger Marsh. So, uh, I was streaming as an experiment yesterday to kind of try to figure out if my stream was going to lag or whatever, and 
Hey, I don't even know if I'm streaming. Let me see if I uh, see how this works here. If I go to the channel, is it going to show the stream? Oh, there, yeah, it's showing the stream now. I don't know what happened there. I guess I didn't. It didn't pop up automatically. That's interesting. So uh, I'll just go back to this. Uh, I created a server channel thingy to just um, um, just uh, I guess for it just says uh, wow leveling with Kirby Com, and uh, it just. Uh, Yeah, I'm. I think I'm too much of a lamer at this point to. Um, I I don't know how to do the overlay. There's an overlay thing, and I don't know how to do it. And I had it going once, I think, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do to make that happen. And so I just don't. I really don't understand what I'm supposed to do there. So so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go around here and I'm just gonna go around here and quest. Um I'm I'm not I'm not sure what I'm doing. Like I feel like I've done too much today already. Like going into the YouTube and just trying to um I discovered I didn't really have to download the VODs um i could uh um i could upload them to youtube directly from twitch which i thought was possible but i wasn't sure how it worked and uh um it worked just fine so uh everything's on youtubecom curvycom and there's a playlist and I, if i wasn't such a lamer i'd be able to make these uh these videos like automatically add to the playlist, but I haven't done that, so I think I've done, I'm enough of a slacker where I, I don't think I I don't think I want to um, uh, I don't think I want to do that right away but I, I just kind of did a few things I think I did more than I expected to do um, so there it is I'm now streaming I have zero, well, I have one, one person watching, which is me, I think, so, uh, and once again, I'm talking, and I'm flying around instead of questing, so let's, let's just, uh, kind of go, Let's just kind of go in here and and uh, uh, anyway, I am a lamer and I do suck. I I I I um and and you know feel feel free if if anyone ever watches this, feel free to comment and tell me tell me um, how big a lamer I am and how much I suck. But um, I I just. I just don't know if anyone will ever watch this. I still haven't filled out any forms on Twitch. Maybe I'll do that like next time or something. I don't know. I I haven't filled out anything though. And so what am I supposed to be doing here? I'm supposed to be getting bog lord tendrils. I remember this. So basically I just have to attack these guys, but they're not marked. They're not marked by the quest uh tracker. So that's fine really. Oh, you can herb these guys too, but it doesn't increase your it doesn't increase your your uh your herb skill when you herb dead mobs, I guess. Alrighty then. So I got one tendril there. And you can herb them because at least you can vendor this stuff, I guess. 
I believe I can't herb regular herbs up here still. Yeah, herbalism has to be 325. So like unlike other areas, this I think I noticed before when I came to Zanger Marsh like a long time ago that somehow the the new herbing system isn't implemented here or 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 maybe I'm just such a lamer that I don't understand what the parameters of the herbing system are. That probably is true. Um uh I think somehow being a lamer is is somehow it's beyond being a noob although I definitely uh I definitely have a a long history as a noob um in fact in vanilla wow um I I started playing around burning crusade but but in the early burning crusade but I had the vanilla game for a while just only and I didn't buy the Burning Crusade expansion. And back then, the world actually looked, if you only had the vanilla game, the world was actually only looked like the vanilla game. So, like, you couldn't go to, um, you know, Azure Mist Isle, Isle, or you couldn't go through the portal to the Ghost Lands and, like, you can now. But, but, uh, that was... Um, those lands weren't even there. The map looked completely different. Well, not completely different, but it looked different, and there was just some land up north that you couldn't go into without, like, glitching into it or something. And, you know, let me know, all zero of you, if my game audio is too loud. I didn't find it too loud when I listened back to the stream. So I, most people have their game audio turned way down. But I kind of like it this way, so I guess I'm reiterating a lot of stuff I said already. I might fiddle around with the volume of everything, but it, it doesn't really matter. It's 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 uh, at this stage nobody's watching anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. So this is me streaming and. Oh, I just remember this drop rate as being awful, too. I think I'm correct here. I've got only one tendril so far. Oh, I can herb this one over here. I forgot. I can herb these. It's like skinning, but for herby creatures that are herby that are herbal in nature. They're 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 herbal ish. Herbaceous. Perhaps herbaceous. So and that's that uh See, there's another one I didn't herb. I might as well. I can vendor this stuff. Um, I probably my bags are probably full, aren't they? Oh, they're not too bad. But I can send. I can send all this to, like my bank alt, which is now like, 101 level 101. So. That's kind of interesting too when I when I learned that that you could just have a character for banking and auctioning and stuff and uh I remember I got really good at that. I had so much gold in the vanilla game. Well, I think by then I had the Burning Crusade expansion. I didn't wait. I, I like it's probably like maybe a couple of weeks, a week or two. And then I said, well, I might as well get the expansion because, you know, then I'll have everything. But then, you know, when, when, um, uh, yeah, this, oh, look, it let me get that dream foil. So that's interesting. So I can herb some things. Um, Anyway, um, what was I saying? I have no idea. 
I, I, I have pretty bad ADD, so um, if I'm fighting, trying to fight and talk at the same time, I'm going to fail at that. I'm going to say, uh, a lot. I'm not going to even know what word to say. It, it kind of appears like I'm able to do it. Now, maybe as I do it, I'll get better at it, and uh, it won't be as annoying to me and or anyone that might be watch at some point, which I don't think anyone will, but you know, you never know. Um, I am a lamer and I do suck, but um, that was interesting. Some kind of interesting effect. Anyway, uh, you know, like, I, I really like uh, Nixium and Wow Crendor and Slightly Impressive and Moo Cluck and just to name a few. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I'd ever get to that level of, 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 uh, of um, even obsession with doing this. But I, I think, um, like, I do have ideas for machinima sometimes. I don't know if I will ever do that, though. I mean, I have no video editing capability or, or understand. I, I know very little about video mixing and audio mixing and, and things like that. So I just... I don't really know much about that. But if I were to ever make a WoW Machinima, I can almost guarantee that I would do it in the most lame way ever. Like, I probably would just do it all in-game, and then I would just use, you know... Uh, I would just use... Uh, um, you know, video editing software to cut it together, but I probably wouldn't even use Model Viewer or because I mean I don't even know what Model Viewer is because I'm such a lamer and I suck. But I hear other YouTubers uh, that make Machinima talk about it, and so I kind of get the picture as to what it is. Um, but um, you 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 could. You know, I mean, if you wanted to get models, you could. There's other ways you could get them too, instead of using a program. I mean, you could just go on, you know, one of the websites that has uh, that has um, 3D models of everything that you look up. You know, like Wowhead, and you could probably use that also. Um, but uh, you know. It, it, it's just whatever the lamest way that you could possibly do it, you know. Um, I, I don't think I'd be trying to be deliberately lame. I mean, oh, I got a quest. And, uh, um, I'm not going to read the quest text because nobody's watching right now except me, so, um... Although, I, as I said in the past, that maybe I should do it just because of practice. But if I if I read the quest text, that would probably be okay. I, maybe I'll do that. But um, I'm I'm not going to do it at at the moment. I'm not going to do it. Um, I enjoy Crandor's uh, Wow leveling series. Uh, I I think it's neat that he does that. He has a very leisurely way of doing it. Uh, he just talks about whatever, and I, I think that's kind of neat. I suppose that's kind of what I'm doing, although I don't even know what I'm doing. So, I think what I'm doing is I don't know what I'm doing. But, you know, I'd probably end up using Windows Movie Maker, which, you know, would make me I think probably the biggest lamer of all time. And actually, you know, it's kind of interesting. I, I used Windows Movie Maker once to edit something really big as just an experiment. I just wanted to put a companion track onto a video, like a movie, and uh, just edit it into it so that it synced up with uh, the video, copy of the video I was using, and... Uh, and then added a few little things, and uh, 
I can definitely attest to that it is absolutely the worst. Like every time, if you have lots of clips and you have them, um, you know, carefully positioned, every time you do anything, if you have lots and lots of clips, the lag, the delay is so long. Every time you change anything, it's got to load all that stuff over again every time you do anything. So it becomes like you have to, at some point, make a part two and split it in half because every time you do any kind of edit at all or change anything, you have to wait like 30 seconds for everything to catch up, which you don't see at first, but that was my experience with Windows Movie Maker at the at the beginning anyway. I'm still like only have four tendrils and I need six. So I remember this as being a horrible drop rate and it still is. This is very slow going here on these bog lord guys. I'm stripping the herbs off of you before you even die completely. Look at that. I have no respect. No respect for nature. That 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 much is certain. That's clear here as to what's going on. Um these poor bog lords, they're just here minding their own business. They're not bothering anyone. You know, I'm just, I'm just coming up and coming up behind them and I'm like, ah, I'm going to get your tendrils, you know, where's the justice in that? So, so I'm, um, uh, I, and I still only have four. I still only have four. I just killed like four of them or five of them in a row. And... Six of them now, or something like that. I still only have four. I, did, I, I, I actually don't know if I'm ever going to get another tendril ever again. Is this something I can herb? Dream foil. It allows me to herb that. I guess I might as well use my stun when I can. I usually use it when I first attack if I'm in stealth. But I have like three stun things now. One of them is a one of them is it uses um um uh combo points. So I can use this one here, and that gives me at up to five seconds if I want. This, this, it reminds me of when I was on a PvP server, and you know, rogues and would gank you, and they would have like all these different stuns, and they would just stun. Like, there's nothing you could do; they just kept stunning you over and over again. And I used to play a warrior, that was my main originally. And uh, I kind of ADD'd my story um, 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 in the last video, because I was talking about why I, why I played female characters. And I talked about my aesthetic sense, but it kind of went it kind of went off the rails as you know when you do when you have ADD one thing goes off go, leads to another and uh um you know practicing staying on track with your conversation and uh i think does help to alleviate some of those symptoms but anyway uh um so so i guess i said my aesthetic sense didn't allow me to play Horde because I just didn't like the way the Hordies looked. And uh, then 
I really did like the first time I created my very first character. I made a male character, and I was looking at. I, didn't, I was making a male character. I guess I could. I should say. And um, I just thought. I just thought the male. Uh, the male char- character model was so dumb looking uh, that. I just couldn't bring myself to make that character, so I switched it to female, and I went, oh, okay, well, that's that's a little better looking, uh, not just because it's a female, but because it's, it was a better looking female, it was a better looking character, it was a better looking model, I thought, you know, all things being equal, whether you like the look of male or female characters in any way. Um, I think it made it 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 appealed more to whatever aesthetic sense I had at the time. So um and I I remember using the random name the naming thing to to create the, the name of my character and it just picked one of the names it picks for human females and because of that though I've I, and I kind of liked that name and I probably will tell you the name at some point but it's not a rare name because it is one of the random generated names so it's not like you won't find other characters named that but um But I have tended to name all of my characters that in other video games that I play. Because it's kind of been like a, a tradition, like, uh, you know, like when people have a, have a lucky pocket handkerchief or a lucky charm or something that they use whenever they do anything. And so, you know, my, my reasoning was... Uh, to I still don't have any more bog lord tendrils. This is amazing. This is amazing. I still have four. Anyway, so that kind of became a tradition. So in uh um So, so when I, I still only have four. I'm never going to get another Bog Lord Tendril, clearly. Does it matter which type? There's two, there's... You have to. There's a withered giant and withered bog lord. Maybe it has to be the bog lord. But none of them are marked. So, well, I killed a bog lord, and I didn't get a bog lord tendril there either. But. It probably has to be a bog lord, but I really don't know. What it see let's find out what it says here. Okay, I'm gonna practice reading the quest dialogue as though I do this all the time. Okay. Fashin Fashin at the spawning glen. Now I can't remember if you can just can you just look at the quest dialogue by itself without the map anymore. You used to be able to do that, but I don't actually know how to do it. Uh. 
Um, there might be a way. I don't actually know, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, it says, uh, Fossen at the Spawning Glen. Fossen. Fossen at the Spawning Glen. I should, I should look. I'm, wear, I'm wearing these really rather weak reading glasses, and uh, this is because, you know, my close-up vision is not that good. It's It happens to all of us, I suppose. But anyway, the point is, I'm wearing these glasses. I don't like wearing glasses. I didn't wear glasses my whole life, so it's now kind of annoying. But it's, it's okay. I'm kind of used to it now. But if I don't have these on, you know, it's pretty blurry and then if I get back here maybe it's less blurry but then it's too small to read so um, you, you just you just have to do something so uh, you uh, um, us sporlings and it says us sporlings and the bog lords have never gotten along well in the past we've managed to keep them at bay with spears and stones lately they seem to have become more aggressive or more desperate. They do not fear us or our weapons. You are much scarier and better armed than us. If you were to fight the bog lords for us, we would bring for, we would be forever in your debt. Bring me their tendrils so I know how many you've killed. You will not know how many I have killed if I bring you the tendrils because you have to kill like 35 of them to get one tendril. So that is not a good measure. That is not a good measure of of uh, how many I have killed. I mean, I've gone on a veritable killing spree here, and I still only have four tendrils. And here's another bog lord. Let's make sure I'm not killing the giants. I think that'll do. And, uh... And I still didn't get another tendril. There's a bog lord, anyway. All right, I got one. Amazing. I probably had to kill 20 of them to get that one. There's one up there. Okay, I got six. I got lucky there. I got two in a row. All right, so what am I after here? So there's that. It's kind of showing me there's a quest hub up here. Do I want to drain schematics? Is that like a... That's like a um, beginning of a... Of a... Uh, is that a beginning of a dungeon quest? I haven't I, I haven't even gone to Telridor yet. Although I guess now I have a now I have a quest to go there to turn something in. But I've been looking at this and see what this is all about here. Oh no, I'm being shot at by Naga. Oh yeah, okay, this is this is that quest. I remember this. I remember being totally confused by this. 
Okay, I totally do. I remember being completely confused by this. And... Um... I think... Where the heck was the entrance to that? There, isn't there like a cave down here or something? I don't actually remember. Drain schematics. Available quest. So, it seems like it would be... Seems like... Oops. Seems like it would be over there. But... But I'm not sure. It, it it seems like it would be. I just remember you had to go under something in order to get in there, but I don't remember where. I might have to look that up because I'm not clear on how to do that. There's no, like, this, this device here is not an entrance to something. And as far as I can tell, I don't see any, like, ways to get in some, somewhere. So. I don't. I don't know. I, I know I've done it before, but I cannot remember at all the details to it. I just. I just think I could run around here forever trying to figure this out, and I never get it. But. So it's not like going in one of these pipes, or whatever. You know, like in Vashir. Oh no. There's Piranha. I guess maybe I should turn on Water Collision too. They're all dead. Okay. Um not skinnable. See, I wish I, there was like a couple of people watching that knew what they were doing. Yeah. They would be yelling at me. It's right there, you lamer, you retard. You know, they'd, they'd be saying, it's right there. Why don't you see it? It's right there. It's right, it's right there. In fact, it probably is right there, but I just don't know where right there is. There's all these piranha all over the place. They're kind of, this is kind of annoying. So, if if it's right, it's not right there here. Is that an entrance to something, or is that just like a big flower? That's a big flower. That's like a big underwater flower of some kind. And maybe I'll just stay in cat form and just hold my breath. Periodically I can just, I'll probably end up drowning because I'm such a lamer. But I can't imagine where where um it seems like it would have to be in the dungeon like that. That mark might be in the wrong place that where that quest indication thing go to this do this quest it's probably in the wrong place and i do believe i have like all my stuff shown here maybe not all of it but most of it um so
I'm uh, so I don't know I have this automatic pan and scan camera thing going which I've mentioned before but I think maybe it might be better because I, I do tend to move around a lot and at least then the camera will sort of follow me and uh, that's probably for the best okay okay I don't want to drown but isn't there like I, I, I seem to remember the entrance to this place is like down here somewhere I don't even remember so if 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 it is might be over here this might be this little projection might be a cave kind of a cave entrance I don't know there's a bunch of these though I actually don't know where it is no idea where it is it's, it's, it's either around here or it's not but evidently it's not Serpent Lake it says All right, I'm just doing this. All right, I don't know where the entrance to this thing is, but if it is anywhere, I don't know if it's on one of these four pillars or or if it's down all the way down here. I seem to remember you had to go down and then up into it. I just don't remember exactly where that was. Like you had to go under some kind of pipe like this and then go up. I just really don't know. I, I don't remember. I can go Coil Fang Reservoir. See, this is this is really it. But when it comes to how to get into it, I really have no idea. Maybe I should look it up. It was very definitely an under an underwater entrance. Maybe it's like right in the middle. Maybe it's in the middle and you go down into this thing. That would be... It's got bubbles. I wonder if you get your breath when you get in these bubbles, like you do sometimes. Oh yeah, okay, I think this is it. Well, I was completely wrong about going down, uh, up and up into a pipe from below. That was obviously some other thing. So, uh... All right. So I think there's going to be an instance portal here somewhere. But I'm going to go up into this and just see what's in here. I I I don't think there's any So basically there's just this There's this guy. He says he can help me, but he really can't, can he? So, uh, I don't know. This drain schematics. I did not see that as a thing. I'm just going to pop in here and see what's what. Oh, maybe I can't even go in there yet. I mean, what's my... I'm not even getting any message like for okay well I might not qualify for that instance yet that's quite possible so you probably there's probably a minimum level you have to be and I don't know what it is usually there's like a little message though like it says you have to be 
something or other to enter this. But I don't see anything. So um, my mouse pointer is visible. And I've noticed some people don't, you know, they hide their mouse cursor. And it depends on what you're doing, it just seems like. But I, I don't know. I guess this is like a lamer thing also. This is just to show you how much I suck. But um, I'm just totally a lamer, and so my mouse cursor isn't hidden. But I, And I could probably could do that. I could probably hide my mouse cursor. What's over here? Is this anything? It's like a little path. Oh, okay. The underbog. This is the underbog. So this is the underbog. This is the instance, if there's an instance. But I don't know if there's going to be a quest in here. I, like, I don't know if this is the quests that showed up. Let me see. A necessary evil. I'm not going to take these, but be careful. Bring me a shrubbery and stalk the stalker. I remember these quests, but this is not where these quests are coming from. So whatever that quest is, it's another quest giver somewhere. All right, I, I, I'm not going to swim out of here. I'm going to use my hearth because I've got my hearth set to Firefly Tavern, so I might as well just go there. Um, and while that's happening, I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to go get some ice and stuff. So that's what I'm doing. And I could... I could keep my headset on. I suppose I'll do that this time, but so the camera's not going to follow me because I don't have a cameraman because this is the sound of me getting ice. Ice is the best. When I got when I got this house and it had the refrigerator in it that had an ice maker, I was just ecstatic. I've never had an ice maker before and I, and I've been too much of a I've been too lazy to like buy a different refrigerator or any place I've lived, so Okay. I got one more thing to look for here. All right, look at that. If I really want to go full immersive on this, I could uh buy a helmet cam. You know what? I'm going to set the helmet. I'm going to set the the thing down. I'm sorry. I'm going to set the thing down here. And uh I'm going to take my my charger and plug it into these headset. This headset like lasts for a long time when you use it. It's amazing how long it lasts, but I'm gonna plug it in and let it charge while I'm doing this. It's only long so I'm gonna do that.
It's my computer throws so much heat. It's got like a warming thing. That's kind of why I keep the door closed. And I was thinking about whether I should turn on the light or not, but I don't know. I guess I'm not going to do that. So. Anyway, so here I hearthed out of there. I can I can like Okay, I'm going to need that. I suppose here hang on a second. Let me I'm going to unignore that. I can sort this. Oops, I don't want to sell that. I want to see what's in it. All right. Okay. Feel free to browse. Now, see this unidentified plant parts. There's a I got to check this out. There's there's like a Oh, I, I got these, I can, I keep forgetting, I can get these buffs from these big dudes here. So that's, that's a thing I can do. That's one, anyway, I don't even know where I'm going here. So, I got one buff there, and where's the other guy? There's two of these guys, and I always lose them. So, and so around here somewhere is the unidentified plant parts lady. And then the other, oh, the other guy is here, yeah. This is the other guy. I should probably do this last. But since I have ADD, I'll forget. If I, if I say I'm just going to do it last, I'll just uh, talk to the plant lady, and then I won't remember to do it. So, um, okay, unidentified plant parts. So this right now, let me see, hang on, they want 10. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to separate this into 10, okay, and see how much, 10 is worth 75 silver, all right? And uh, let me get rid of some of my junk here first before I, before I do this, I'm going to say, uh, let's just, I don't, there's no vendor around here, so I'm just going to use a, I'm just going to use this puppy. Um, I still don't have the, uh, the transmog mount from Pandaria, which I wish I had, but maybe that'll be a video I'll do. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do getting the mount in Pandaria if it's still available, which I think it is. It's got the grummel on it, and I didn't really play Pandaria when it came out. I, I created a Pandaren in the Pandaren starting zone, and I went through until you pick your faction. And then uh, that was pretty much it. I never really played in Pandaria. So I did Pandaria later when I was just curious what it was like. It is quite beautiful. Uh, but... Bog Lord Tendrils. This is one of the few. This is a quest item. Bog Lord Tendrils. You're actually collecting them. This probably is a rep item. And uh, let me open. Oh, I got a clam here. I, it, it gets clam meat. Okay, and a pearl. And I have my insignia of the alliance, which I don't really need because I have a I should just get rid of that. You can't sell it though. you just have to destroy it or put it in the bank. But since you've got the the heirloom, you really don't need it, and I'm sure they share a cooldown, but I don't know. Uh, let me see what I got here. I got uh. Um, I got some boots that must have come from a quest, 
but the one I'm wearing is better, so let me see. I can get rid of that. And uh, let's see what I got here. These are the these are the other heirloom things that I was wearing. They had they had a, a mild enchant reinforced plus five armor, and that really isn't much. Although the way they rescaled the armor, so where armor numbers aren't huge anymore like they used to be, just these these huge numbers, and they re they redid those numbers where they weren't getting all ridiculous. But um but I, I, I'm I'm hesitant to, to throw an heirloom out if it has an enchant on it, especially if it's a good enchant, because you never know when they're gonna make it where you can't have enchants on stuff anymore. And you know, like I said, I've got this this headpiece, it's just a cloth. I wish I'd done it with all the heirloom headpieces, but I had a cloth piece that uh, um, is. Um, I had a cloth piece that's um, that has a, a pretty good head enchant on it from. Uh, I think it was from. Um, uh, Lich King era, they had they had enchants that went on shoulders, head, chest, you know, like six locations, including the legs, chest, including the legs and the shoulders and the and the head, which were a pretty amazing that you could put that on everything. So, and it was good. It wasn't just armor. It was uh, you know enchants, and I think it might have been spirit and stamina. I don't know, but now it's versatility because spirit has been changed into versatility. It was like a stat that affected nobody except healers, and now they changed it into versatility. So it's like uh, they could have just kept calling it spirit, really, but but whatever, they call it versatility now. Anyway, so I put an enchant on the headpiece, and, and, you know, it's amazing how they said, well, now we're taking hit and chance out of the game, but they still it still shows up on that piece of heirloom gear that I have. And they say it doesn't affect, like the head and chance you have on your existing gear don't affect your, your stats. But they seem to. You know, like when you look at your total stats and you add up all the things you have, you know, the ones on your head pieces still seem to, to matter. So, all right. So let me see. I've I've sorted everything. I've gotten rid of some things. I need to get rid of. Oh, I got a cooking recipe: buzzard bites. Okay. And I have one enchant, which is for gloves, which I may or may not have an enchant. I have it already on there. So that's the only enchant I've got. Well, one of my other characters has pretty good enchanting, so I could make more of these. It's nice to put them on the things as you level. Um, but whatever, I'm just, uh, you know, this is what I have. Mostly heirlooms, and except for the rings, I don't have the heirloom rings. Anyway, what's going to do is separate these into... into ten so that I could look and see how much that was worth. And so now I know it's worth 75 gold to sell. And then I'm going to see what I get for... Un I'm going to get a package of unidentified plants. Okay. And I got Scenarian Rep for doing that. And then I'm going to open my package of unidentified plants and then I'm going to see if that is worth more like the, here's okay so here's what I got just not this but I got these three things I got an edible fern 
which is like a food with a buff. I've already got food that's better than that. And I've got 20 silver and 30 silver and 40 silver. Plus I got 20, so I suppose it, it pays to open those up even if you don't want to keep them. You can sell the, so 30 and 20 is 50, and if I sell this this food, it's soul bound. Um, uh, oh, I don't know, I guess it's pretty good. Maybe I'll put that on my, I'll put that on my buff food here. And, uh, okay, now that I've done that, I should probably go, I should probably go in the mailbox here and get rid of a bunch of stuff that I'm carrying because, uh, I don't need, I've got so much stuff I don't need. And then, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and sort this again and see what, see what all I've got here. Okay. So I guess it makes sense to turn those in and you get a little more for it and you get rep, which I don't care about on this character, but there you have it. Okay, so, uh, so when it comes to, uh, Okay. Oh, look. Volatile healing potion. Is that better than this? Oh, and this doesn't share a cooldown with potions, too. So, actually, I could put that up. I don't know. Dynamite. I'm never going to use that. And then all of these mats. I'm not going to use... Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Let me sort it again and see how with it. Um, I got some larger bags than this that are not that are not bind on equip. Like I think it's got two more slots on each one. I should probably get that because that that's good for leveling. I can't even remember now where I got those, but that I think one of the vendors in your garrison has that or something. But you might be able to make some too, but the non-binding ones are cool because you can pass those around between your characters so you can level a new character and you can send uh, you, you can send your character bags and gold and stuff to get started and So while I'm at it here, I'm going to get rid of some more of this stuff. No, not that. I'm going to do this here. And uh, just, uh, this is all crafting materials. All right, I'm just going to get rid of all that stuff. Oh, I, I probably shouldn't get rid of the meat, but I, it's, it's, I don't know, because don't I have a recipe for buzzard bites? Requires cooking 300. My cooking is not there yet, but maybe I'll keep that meat, but uh, I'll get rid of that. And then uh, let's see what else I've got left here. That's my best mana potion. I can get rid of that, and then my best health potion is probably this one. All right, and uh, um, it's essentially it's it's equivalent to this, so I could just get rid of that one and put this one down here. I, I don't really know what's better. But there's no use in having too many of these things. 
I hardly ever use them anyway as a healer, so I'll just keep one of each kind around. And, uh, you know, that's that's the thing. So i got to say, these headphones are, considering they're pretty good, they're Bluetooth, but um, they're actually pretty good. Um, they're Logitech headphones, and uh, they have... Uh, they have uh, a telephony stream um, uh, and a regular audio stream they can receive. And as it turns out, that's pretty handy because um, I can use the telephony stream as a monitor. It's not as good as the regular stereo stream. It might even be mono, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. I can still hear what's going on in the game, and I can still hear the music, and it's not as good a quality. But uh, just using that, I can I can use the mainstream as the audio. And I guess it doesn't matter. I could, like, I'm such a lamer, but it just occurred to me now I could pick any stream for the main audio. I could pick my monitor has built-in audio. I could pick that. And it doesn't matter because it's going to mute that audio regardless. And then I could use the higher quality um, headphone audio stream uh, for the monitor and it would sound better. Maybe I ought to try that at some point. I'm not going to do it now, but maybe later I'll, I'll experiment with that and see if it works. Since I kind of know how the monitoring system works now, there's a place in the settings where you, you pick which stream, which uh, audio stream you want to be at your monitor. So I noticed this, like other people must be also lamers because they talk about how they can't hear the stream when they're streaming. They can't actually hear anything. But if you if you have a monitor, you just turn on, you know, one of your audio streams can be a monitor, and you can just use that as the monitor, and you can just hear everything. You can hear everything as it's, you can even hear everything as it's going to sound. Uh, you can turn your, uh, um, you could probably put your composite stream up there and then stream that to the monitor and then you'd hear everything including your own voice which I don't think I'd want to do or you could just individually send all the streams to your to your to your headphones anyway what was I talking about um, I probably got like a bunch of food and stuff now that I don't have uh, let me see I got like Nether weave bandage. What have I got here? Um, I got oh, I got rid of all of my 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 cloth too. See see what a lamer I am. See how I suck. I'm such a lamer and I suck. Um, I could do like so I could like level my my first aid. Or my cooking. Uh, so, I don't know. Well, since I'm here, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna just, since I actually remembered, miraculously remembered to do this. Oh, you know what I'll do? Maybe I'll just, uh, the things that I can mail, I will mail. So, let's see, what are they? That's got to go. That's like this kind of stuff has got to go to a warrior or something. So let's do that. Some things can't. This oh, scout's hood. That I don't need that. Um, Mirren's drinking hat. You know, you kind of want to keep that, but you know what? I think I'm. I don't know. I'll put it in the bank. I can't help myself. All right, and uh, so that axe can go. It's all. Well, this is plate that needs to go to a warrior, and that's it. And then the other things are. Oh look, here's this dude.
All right. So uh, let's see. Um, uh, then when it comes to uh, when it comes to clothies. Okay. Well, I can give I can give her that the, that heirloom that has the enchant on it. I don't think that's worth saving really, but. I'm going to say that's a cloth item. That's a cloth item. So I can send those off. Now at least my bags are a little more empty. And I could probably go in here and... Uh, oh, cooking trainer. What, do you have anything you can train me? No, nothing. Nothing. Nothing yet. Okay, so that's it then. Uh, I got some recipes I can get at, at level 300. So um, anyway, I can get rid of I can get rid of this and I sort here. And then let me see. I got like filtered dranic water. Is that the best water I've got right now, and then I could get rid of Morning Glory Dew, which I don't know where that came from, but, and then what's my, my food? I've got this bread, which is the best, so I could get rid of the venison, and the zanger caps, and the sunspring carp, and, uh, well, I don't know, I've got like, uh, What's my best buff food is the edible stalks. Edible fern. I got four of them. I got edible fern and edible stalks, which are uh, basically the same. And I could get rid of that. And, uh,. Peon sleep potion. I don't. Um, that came from some kind of a thing. I've got some uh, scroll of agility. That's something I would actually use. Scroll of intellect. I think I could sell that. I um, mean, this other stuff. I don't know. I got this. I think that's pretty good buff food. It's actually better. Buzzard bites. So I could get rid of that because it's soul bound anyway. Buzzard bites I'll keep. And uh, then this stuff here. Spider sausage. This is not very good stuff here. Ravager egg omelet. What if I just get rid of that stuff and... Uh, Now I have minimized the things I have I'm carrying around, so that's probably for the best. I can, I'll just, uh, that can go on the auction house or whatever. Oh, that's soul bound. All right. Well, pee on sleep potion. All right. Yeah, you can't, it's got no sell price, right? Okay. All right, so let's just say goodbye to that. I don't really want it. Uh, alcohol is kind of funny in this game. It, it was a long time before I noticed all of the effects of alcohol. Like I noticed the stagger, and it changes the field of view, like FOV, and makes it really wi wide, so everything looks like fisheye lens. And um, and uh, things like that. But then it was the longest time. I was probably in Cataclysm before I realized that one of the effects of being drunk uh, causes the level 
of all the other characters around you to appear lower. Like it goes down five levels, although they don't actually, they're not easier to, to kill, but they look like they're five levels lower than they actually are if you get as drunk as you can get. And it's like, you know, like a dude that's drinking, like, I could, I could take him, I could kick his ass. I'm a level 70, and he's a level 65, I can kick his ass and shit. But that, that's, that's kind of like, um, that's kind of like, uh, what I got out of it. You know, it's kind of a, the stupidity drinking, here, hold my beer, dude, type thing. Here's a fishing trainer. Hey there. Can he train anything? He can sell me, what, night crawlers and bright baubles and an oversized bobber to increase the size of my fishing bobber. What do I need that for, really? Blackened spore fish. He has a recipe. I'll keep it. I'll have, I'll collect that recipe. And... Hello. I think from fishing training, I don't think there's anything I can train. I, I, I've already got the thing where I can go up to 450. Safe travel. So I guess that's pretty much it for that. Um, oh, no, I've, I've changed my... Uh, this is how lame I am. I've changed my... Uh, I've changed my my uh, my camera to. I wonder how long that's been the case. I like kept wondering how. Okay, so right now the the hotkeys are working. Look at that. I can switch to just the can the webcam. I can switch to the streaming. And uh, gosh, I am such a lamer and I suck. Uh, is it that the numlock? Let's see. Yeah, I see. When the num lock is off, then the hot keys don't work, but they do. Right. Okay. Well, isn't that interesting? I wonder how long that's been switched. So, uh, you know, have I been playing like 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 for the entire time with the wrong thing displayed? Oh my gosh. You know, uh, I don't really know. I think it's been the normal way for the most part, but I must have hit one of these buttons to see what happened, and it, I wasn't sure if it did anything or something. But right now, the num lock is what off. Right, and the num lock doesn't do so. So when the num lock is on. Then these buttons do their thing. Well, that is very interesting. So, so, um, so you turn the num lock off, and then it becomes like the home key and the arrow keys and stuff. So, all right. Anyway, so I came all the way out here, and I got rid of a bunch of stuff. I wasted like nine, nine or ten minutes on my buff so that I got from here, and I'm not even going to bother to re reattain them. But I am going to go and uh, maybe I will actually look up. Um, maybe I actually will look up uh, what. Let me see here. Do I have? Uh, I'm going to just, uh, okay, I'm going to move, I'm going to, uh, let's see, let's just check this out.
Okay. 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 So, let's see. This is called drain schematics. Drain schematics. There it is. It's coming right up. All right. So, let's find out what the What happy anniversary is that an achievement for for Wowhead or something? I don't care. Okay, so uh, drain schematics. Uh, starts. Binds when picked up. Oh, okay. So is it that you have to pick something up? Let's see what it says here. It says, uh... Um... Yeah. Um... It says, uh... having trouble following my face over here because it's so dark in here probably but anyway it says uh, search serpent lake for uh, start drain schematics so that's it you have to start with that and uh I see so it says it's dropped by someone. So it's one of those questions. Why would that show up on a marker like that? So in other words, if you go running around there in that area, there's like a flight point here. Where 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 is this flight point? It says there's a flight point. Oh, it's this is is this Telrador? Probably it is. Yeah, Telrador. So um I don't even notice. So, okay, I'll I'll get this flight point. I'm not going to grab these quests yet. Um but I remember thinking how cool this was with this elevator that went up and down. See, there there it is going down. Magic elevator. What could be cooler than that? Uh, anyway, so uh, when it comes to the... When it comes to the... Uh, it says the over... The overseer, the pump overseer, and stuff drop these things. And so, I guess I, I should be like fighting these guys. So, uh, according to what they say, the steam pump overseer might drop that. But why would they make that be like a... Do you have to come here? Maybe you have to come here for a quest, though, in order for that to drop. 
Let me see. So, if I list the, I should probably stealth or fly up or something here. Let's fly up. Um, let's fly up here. I'm flying up. All right. So, so the the point is. Um, uh, I have to, I have to list the, this is the quest. Now, does this quest have a precursor? Requires level 60. Lore master, yes. Not shareable. Starts with a drain schematics. This item begins a quest. So basically, you just have to pick it up. It's just one of those things where uh, you just have to you just have to get the drop from killing these guys enough, and maybe uh, that will be I don't know. But I'm just gonna go over here and do more of these quests and see what see what I get over here. I'm assuming Telrador quests are going to send me up there, I would guess. And right now I'm just going to fly over here and do these, whatever they are. So, Oh, maybe it's not the graveyard. Maybe it's the PvP objective that looks like a graveyard because that's what it is or something. I was commenting on the other day about how how um, the graveyard and your where the spirit healer was and where your dead body was because I ran into a horde camp and got killed while I was talking, running around, and not paying attention to where I was going. So, anyway, maybe it's just this PvP objective. Maybe it's always been that way then. But I'm probably not going to do this PvP objective even if there is a quest for it. But, I don't know. If there's a quest for it. I can't remember if there is or isn't. But, um, if there is, maybe I'll do it, you know... Maybe at a you know on a day where this uh, on a server reset day. That's always the easiest time to do a quest like that because these realms are so unpopulated you hardly run into anyone, and uh, hardly anyone comes up here. Like I don't think I've seen another pl I've barely seen another player while I've been streaming here. So let's see. Oh yeah, so I remember this, and there's like these little sporling things that you you go around and you collect. And then there's Sporigar, which is a whole nother thing, which, you know, you... I don't even remember what you're supposed to do here. Uh, investigate the spawning glen. So investigating this it involves probably just running around to a certain location. Okay, now that's been done. Okay. And then the other thing the other thing is mature spore sack. Uh Okay. Okay. So, uh I can't remember that. I just remember they were Oh yeah, here. They don't show up as herbs, do they? Maybe I turn humanoids off. Track humanoids be off. No, they don't show up as herbs. OK, 
Okay, but these are the these are the oh these are um these are not herbs, so that means I might be able to uh I might be able to pick these up while just running around. Oh, this is a an herb though. That's an herb, right? Yeah, ragvale doesn't say I it says I can't get it, but uh, like some of these things, you can just kind of swoop down and get them while you're flying, and I guess that's good. You can't do that with herbs, but you can do that with with quest items a lot of the time. So all I have to do is find some more of those, and I can use my flight form because that one there. They don't show up on the map as anything, which is kind of weird. Blindweed. I'm sure I could, like, I can't herb that here, but I'm sure I could herb that somewhere. I'm sure I've herbed that before in some other areas. All right. So mature spore sacks. There's like a mature, but not too mature. So these bigger ones aren't the ones. Maturity is a relative term. As I'm sure, like, most parents would, would agree, you know, or something. But, um... There they are. See, they're kind of hiding. They're, they're really small. So... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I have to keep my eye out for these things. So there, that's one there, isn't it? Sure is. Yeah. And this guy won't even attack me because I'm not on the ground. Well, I guess he will. Sometimes they don't attack you if you're not like if you're if you're if you're far enough away. Like if I get right here, let me see if I can. Yeah, he won't. Oh, he no, he did. He attacked me. He attacked me. I can, they, they have to be. They have to be a little farther away. But a lot of the aggroing mechanics, the way it works, is when you actually get on the ground, they come running, but if you're flying, you have to be a lot closer to them. What is there? Fighting the Sporgar spawn periodically. Okay. Alright, evidently... I can grab that. I, I need one more, which is here. There's one. Okay. All right. Very well. I'm going to... Maybe I should turn this monitor up a little bit. Like, I have a monitor here. Uh, where's the buttons for it? Um, it's there along the bottom here, I think. Oh, for goodness sake, I just knocked I just knocked my speaker over. I'll have to get that later. All right, let me see. Uh, adjustment in progress. It needed that, too. It was uh, misaligned. And then let me see. Uh, okay, here we go. Brightness. Let's make it a little brighter. I think that probably be able to see it better. It would also illuminate me a little bit, at least from the left-hand side. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. I can at least do that. And uh, okay, that's a little brighter. Um, Yeah, I don't know how that's looking, but, uh, um, okay, so, it 
says a work complete. So, so that means uh, over here, I have. I'm going to just go ahead and turn in everything I have right now. Um, so, okay. There's this guy's running around. Okay, I got like two got I got two quests for him. Turn in. Oh. Inside perspective. Oh, and then he's got rep stuff, so bog lord tendrils and uh spore sacks. I need ten of anything that I get. And I don't know what he'll give me. I don't know if he's just rep. I don't know if I get anything back for that. But whatever. I'll just uh, go over here and turn this in, I guess. Somebody over here. There's like a Cenarian gal over here. She's got her mount buddy. Watch her Lisa O. Why are you out here? All things in nature exist in an interconnected web, an ecology. So she's going to tell me about the sporlings and bog lords, and um, I'm going to just turn in this quest. Um, slightly impressive always does the night elves talking like hippies, so I feel like I want to do that in a way, but I feel like I'd be copying him if I did that. That might not be nice. I don't know. But all things in nature must be in harmony, man. He kind of does that. And I'm like, you know. But I, I, I don't know. I have my own hippie voice I like to do. But it's a little different than that. Maybe that would be fair. But, uh. A little bit more like the Dan Aykroyd vegetarian voice. If you ever heard that, that was pretty funny. Um, discarded nutriment. This is basically a poop quest then, right? It's poop. That's what we're talking about. Nutriment. And... Oh, he is going to interrupt me if I try to grab that if I get too close. But uh, if I if I land, he'll immediately attack me. So the aggro radius is much lower for that. So just as long as I'm not too close, if I stay in the air, the radius is much lower. And... I just have to find where these these this nutriment is. It's a nice way of saying poo. Okay. I can just I can just easily collect these. That looks like a mushroom really, depending on what I guess they really hang out really close to it. So it's their, it's their discarded nutriment. So they like to stick around. They like to stick around the old nutriment. That's what I can say about these guys. They kind of, they, well, I don't know what that says about them. You know? But, you know, I, I don't know, like, I, I, these are very different kind of creatures than humans. You know, like, I wouldn't want to stay around my poo, you know, if I were, like, camping and I had to leave it somewhere in the, in the wilderness. I think I would not want to, like, 
hang around where it was. I think I'd want to go, you know, 100 feet or so in some direction and and uh, and 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 then come back to my camp, my un my unsoiled, unspoiled camp. You know, if I were camping, I'm not really crazy about camping. I kind of liked it when I was younger, but a little bit, but never held the fascination for me that it does for some people. Like, I admire Nixium. He goes out in the wilderness and does his camping thing, and I think that's really cool. And I used to be more like him as far as wanting to go out more, but uh, um, I'm sure I'll never be like him in, in the in the getting any views department. Uh, so... But then again, you know, I'm I'm such a lamer, and as I keep saying, I do suck. So, um, when you're a lamer and you suck, it's pretty hard to expect anything, you know, um, useful is going to happen. But, uh, all right. So there's, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn in this. I've got another quest here for something up there. Should I keep doing that, or whoa, I don't want to fly over the horde base, because they have aerial protectors, and they will kill you. They'll start shooting at you right away. So, there is the horde base. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Looks like the stream and everything is working, and this is working fine. I was going to make this bigger, because why not? I don't know. Probably no reason for it to be bigger, but I'm just going to make it small again. It says, like, on it somewhere, like, how many... So what am I supposed to be getting here? Mushroom sample? So do I want to do this, or do I want to turn in the other one? How much of... Like, what is this going to lead to? Glow cap. I wonder if a glow cap is what I'm supposed to get. I just remember, I just remember glow caps. Um, you can pick those up, but and they act like they're quest items. But you can always pick them up. You can always pick them up, even when you're not on some kind of a quest for them, because I think they're a rep item. And they might even be like, yeah, they don't have, they have a sell price, but I think they're, I think they're a, I think they're a rep item. Reputation with Sporagar. So what am I supposed to be doing up here? Mushroom samples. I don't believe it's, uh, oh, yeah. See aggro radius. I can't herb because they're going to be shooting at me. Uh, but I should probably uh, um, ogres. Okay. But see, I so do you have to kill the ogres for the for the mushroom samples? This is what I don't know. I'm gonna find out though. Yeah, they're the ones that have it. So basically, I just have to go in here. I have to go on a rampage. So this is me going on a rampage. These guys are just hammering on the tree stumps and, and you know, clearly that means they have to die. And 
against an appreciable drop rate, so... And ogres always go down easy, like, with your finishing move more than, than others. They must have less health or something. I never actually analyzed why that was, but... They always went down pretty easy. Even in vanilla, they were, like, easier. I think it was kind of like an inside joke. Like, that's literally why I said, you know, bigger they are, harder they fall kind of thing. So I, I kind of think that's what it is. They pretty much died uh, pretty easily. I got nine already. Like, they laugh when you attack them, like they're amused. That seems highly inappropriate. Like, I'm being, I'm being ganked and stun-locked. How amusing. Ha ha ha. I'm going to be dead in a few seconds. I'm lucky if I get one swing in. Is that what they're laughing about? I don't know. That, that's no laughing matter. That's what I say. even really spamming my abilities. I could probably kill them before they even came out of that first stun, but I'm not even bothering to do that. Okay, so... I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe I need more than four seconds. Yeah, I probably need five seconds, but I can herb some of these, but not all of them. So where am I supposed to be going here? Kind of a theme of, of ogres always practicing magic, working on their magic and stuff. You know, trying to. They're in the mountains, in the in the what are the badlands or the I don't remember. And they're they're practicing magic, and you just they're just they're not very good at it. You know, I think they're not smart enough for magic. I'm not sure why they're obsessed with, with being mages because. They're, they're, they're clearly not the best. Okay, so this says I'm done with this. And this says uh, I have to go back to Scenarian Babe down there and turn this in. Okay, I have the bad habit of chewing ice. I love ice, though. Ice is so great. As I was saying, you know, when I got this house, it came with a refrigerator that had an ice maker. It was my first ice maker 
just because wherever I moved into before or whatever I've owned or whatever just had a basic refrigerator and I never was, you know, I was too lazy to replace it or change it, you know, when it worked fine. So, but now I don't think I could ever go back. I love ice so much that I think an ice maker is, I can't believe I did without it for so long. Although I, I live in a very small town and, and that um, the water here is really hard. And so it being hard as it is, okay, I'm turning this in, mushroom samples. I accept another quest, which is where, going where? Stealing back the mushrooms. Oh, up there? Oh, that's the ogre mound. Okay. I'm not doing that right now. I'm gonna... Oh, well, maybe I will. I don't know. No, I I don't know. Maybe I will. It just seems to be kind of one quest at a time with this, with this lady here. This is a little quest hub, but... I just have the funny feeling that I'm going to be sent back here again. Yeah, see, I, I think basically, uh, um, I mean, you can tell when I put the map up that it illuminates my face with the color of the map. But some of the color that's coming from the other screen, just whatever's there is, you know, it's just whatever it is. But... Uh, On the video stream, it says like restore player. So if I restore the player, what does that do? That just puts it back there. Oh, I see. Then you're in channel chat, and it shows you how many. 48 total views. What does that mean for the channel itself? That's probably just all me. Okay, so here I am up here. I'm going to switch to this view again. I'm not sure what it matters, what view I should have normally. I think the stream has its own something, and I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm such a lamer. I just can't even tell you how. I can't begin to tell you how much I suck. So, uh, so what am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to get back the mushrooms. Well, to me that means... Uh-oh. Okay. Maximum dotage there. Okay. Uh, this is the box of mushrooms. Oh. Where did he come from? Was he standing there all along? All right. Stampeding roar. Oh, that's a buff. That's a speed buff. Oh, you get mushrooms from these guys, too. I suppose I might as well kill them, then, because that gives me more... Oh, my gosh! The respawn rate's out of this world here. 
I wonder if there was a problem in this zone where people were farming or something and and so they at one time had to turn the population or the spawn rate up because people were complaining that there were never any ogres here to kill or something. You just kind of wonder about that. But it's pretty, look at that, he's immediately back. You definitely want to stealth right away. <laughs> Because if they're going to come back that fast, what's this? Ghost mushroom? Okay. Maybe someone was just in here. and I don't know. I seem to remember this uh, as, a, as, a, as a high respawn rate area, though. Oh, I see. What it is is that when you come, when you get the mushrooms, it spawns a guy, which doesn't drop much. So, So that's the deal. It's not the respawn rate. It's probably that's what I thought before too. But it's basically just the mushrooms. A guy appears here. He does not spawn a box of mushrooms like some of the others do though. Um, oh, really? Oh, these are warlocks, are they? All right, looks like I'm looks like I'm done. Okay, so ready for turning on that. Okay, so now that I've done this, I can fly back to what's her name there and and uh, see if she has anything else for me. I don't think she will, but. I can't actually remember. And she and or and nobody else sent me over there either. Drain schematics. I don't know. I wonder if that's a mistake that that's a quest marker. Because you have to get that from the plans that drop. There's not like a copy of the plans that you find around, I don't think, or... I don't know. I don't really remember, but that's obviously a drop. And uh So, you know, when I got this webcam, it was really just for Skype, and I just, there's a couple people I Skype with, but now I'm, I guess I'm glad I have it because I can use it for this, and this is something.
I just like Okay, I stole back the mushrooms. I get the wristbands, which are better than the ones I'm wearing. Don't eat those mushrooms. It's the story that's completed now. Well, isn't that nice? I think you go back into that that ogre stronghold, though, for some other reason at some point. Okay, so... So, so is it is it two a it really is two a m I have just never kept regular hours in my entire life, and when I've had to, it's been most unpleasant. I have a strange relationship with sleep anyway, but I don't know if I want to share all those details. I probably will at some point, but I don't care. All right now I'd be sharing them with no one, so except for they're going to go on YouTube. I'm I'm getting kind of hungry though. Like I think I should like make breakfast or something. So maybe I'll take a break here. It's I'm about at the two-hour mark. So. I'd say um I'd say going to Telrador would be good as a thing. I'd say that would be a thing to do is go to Telrador and then uh and then call it call it quits for at least for a while I really don't have you know as far as a schedule I've never really had regular hours so I I could announce a, like a schedule a streaming schedule I suppose but I'm not sure how well I will be keeping one. So, for now, I think I'm just going to be streaming whenever I feel like it. And it's really not. I already got the Griffin point, but what I really want is the the innkeeper right right at the moment, don't I? And the innkeeper is uh, over here, I think. Is that right? I am wrong. Somewhere, though, the, there's an innkeeper somewhere in here. That's not the inn, like the, hang on, let me see. Let me get a bird's eye view here. I think where the mailbox is, that's probably where the inn will be. And that will be here. Yeah, here we go. Welcome. Browse at your leisure. I don't know what this blue thing is. Like, uh, Crendor always does pointless top ten. He could do, like, pointless top ten lamps or lights, weird light things. And he could go around the world and find all the weird little light light thingies. I kind of like this. Uh, this is a nice inn. You could, you could sleep out here in the rain. Okay, now I'm going to use my I'm going to use one of my hotkeys and see if it works. Okay, so uh All right, well that's it for now. I'm just going to say uh
au revoir, and then I will uh, probably be back later. I'm just going to go eat some breakfast, cook some eggs or something, or I don't know what. So bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, no one, because nobody's watching. So, But that's fine. <laughs>